One of the first things we need to do is safely raise and support the vehicle so we can see underneath the driver's side. You're going to notice this plastic shield here. We're going to take this down because if you were to look through here, you'd see the fuel filter. You're going to see 10 millimeter mounting nuts right there. There's going to be push clips. Okay. We've got all sorts of things holding this on. So to use the push clips, you just kind of pull them right out like that. Anything looks like that. We're going to spray it down with some penetrant. Let it sit and do its job for a second. Awesome. Now that we've let that sit for a little while, use your 10 millimeter. There we go. We're going to remove all these. Cruising right along here. This is looking good. There's another little push clip holding it right there from the other side. So you're just gonna have to tug. There it is. There it is, right here. And here's our fuel filter. The next thing we wanna do is pay attention to which way the fuel filter is facing. You have the ridged area facing towards the front of the vehicle. The next thing, use a pocket screwdriver or whatever you have, and you're gonna press on this green and then draw the line away from the fuel filter. You wanna make sure you're wearing hand protection and eye protection and your mouth's closed. Now we'll do the same to the other side. Let that drain into our collection receptacle. Grab that fuel filter, pull it out to the front of the vehicle, and then drain it into your receptacle. Now that we've got that all nice and drained, we're going to put in our new fuel filter. We remember the ridged area is along the front. Line this up, slide it right in, listen for a click. Once you hear it, give it a nice tug. Make sure that it's definitely not going to come apart and then do the same to the front side. Push this forward again. clicks in, give it a nice tug, beautiful. We'll clean down this area so there's no more fuel and then we'll get the plastic back up. I'm gonna use a little bit of copper never seize on these. We're gonna get this plastic back up here. Our bolt All right in there. Get that one lined up. Okay, let's snug them all up. Let's snug these up. wiggle. Okay, so this is all just penetrant. I'm not super worried about that. This is looking great. Next thing you would want to do is bring the vehicle down, start it up and run it for a while and make sure no fuel comes out. Once you're sure it doesn't, go ahead and take it for a road test.